Hello, adventurers! Welcome to AP Arena Patch 1.120 Highlights Video. I'm Sunny. Hi, I'm Asia. Nice to see you all again. You might wonder, what are we having in this patch? In this patch, we'll have a new grab on hero, a new boss and its new event, treasure hunt camp, a new optimization for temporal rift, and and something related to Aziz. What will it be? Without further ado, let's get started. As the ordinary shape of Bantus, Ivan pursues perfection and gives up his human body to reach this goal. His biggest interest is to make his puppets with the bones of all creatures. And he says, those who couldn't be my audience ultimately became my work of art. On the battlefield, Ivan hides in the darkness and becomes untargetable, manipulating the allied hero with the highest initial attack rating as a puppet. He can buff his puppet with greater attack and defense abilities. And he is able to scalp one skeletal square who can attack and taunt enemies with part of his stats in the allied half of the battlefield. Besides, he can control the enemy heroes as well. After we collected some feedback from adventurers regarding the Temporal Rift, we've added some adjustments to the new season in this patch. Yes! First, the Team Rewind feature adventurers have been asking for is launched. From this season, adventurers are able to rewind the battle you like by your choice. No need to reset all layers anymore. Second, the Divine Seal Refresh mechanism will be renewed. It will show the most needed Divine Seal in priority to avoid having the same one after receiving the greater one. Besides, avatar rewards will be added to the ranking list, and special sticker will be provided for this new season. A new boss, So Haunted, is also coming in this patch in the Nightmare Corridor. Along with it, Judgment Chronicles are also getting an update. The Soul Hound was not born an evil monster. It was once a hound of a general of the empire. Every time its owner whistled, it would respond with a rhythmic bark. However, its loyalty was not rewarded with kindness. Beguiled by the hypogeans, its owner sacrificed its soul as a cruel offering in exchange for his own internal life. During the battlefield, he can also be controlled for a short period. The first hero who controls it will be the Whistle Bearers. When they cast ultimate skill, they can tame the Soul Hound simultaneously. The Soul Hound will take action for that, for sure, but after being fully tamed, it can be defeated easily. This one is for relatively new adventurers who can't experience treasure scramble in the early stage. After Campaign 11-40, adventurers can participate in Treasure Hunt Camp, a pre-stage of Treasure Scramble. After reaching a certain graduation requirement, adventurers can choose to enter Treasure Scramble or not. However, after finishing Campaign 24-60, adventurers can no longer choose to stay in Treasure Hunt Camp. Once entering Treasure Scramble, adventurers can now go back to Treasure Hunt Camp. Asha, what's something new about Aziz? Recently, the Dream Lad has been unstable because of the fight between Tasi and Aziz. So Tasi, to protect everyone's dream, made a special one that eludes every awakened hero's image to trap Aziz in it. Oh, will he be bullied? No, actually, adventurers are going to be fighting alongside Aziz in Haunting Dreamscape to challenge other awakened heroes. Oh, so this time it counts on adventurers. Every victory will gain Aziz a new talent. Adventurers can adjust the formation of power up the heroes to power up the team. Yeah, and that's basically it for the patch 1.120. And if you are looking for more details, go check out the update announcement. Yeah, thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye! -bye. Bye. All right, three, two, one, action. After we collected some feedback from adventurers regarding the Temporal Rift, we've added some adjustments to the new season in this patch. Yes! <laughs>